Hello. Hi. It's me, your lovely neighborhood reindeer, Kendrick and Dearly. You might notice two items on my desk. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Hold on with the hydrates. X, like legitimately, hold on with the hydrates, bro. <laughs> Noodles, what? I got, I just got here. <laughs> Never. No, because I'm actually going to explain the rules in regards to the hydrates because, of course, because I'm eating spicy noodles. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift the, the ban for today. I'm gonna lift the ban for today. You can spam unlimited hydrates every time I take a bite. Every time I take a bite. Use your use your hydrate spam well. <laughs> I only know two items on your desk. Also, your desk is a table. <laughs> More water. <laughs> Ken, my friend wants to speak to your manager. <laughs> More water. I'm going camping tomorrow, so I won't show up at all tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, that's good. Or for a few days after. Okay, that makes sense. No, no, you chill, though. You chill, bro. No, <laughs> yo, let's not spend hydrates. Nobody give that woman water, you ignorant fool. You dare challenge my hydrate powers. Great idea, Dipper. <laughs> Let her burn. <laughs> So I've never eaten this brand before. So quick story. Um, my mom, she went out and what happened was that she accidentally brought, brought the wrong brand of noodles. Usually we get like uh, just the regular shin noodles or like different types of noodles. And so what ended up happening is that she tried it and she's like not a spice taker at all. And I don't think I recognize this brand, but everyone, I was like, why do, why does this brand sound familiar? So, uh, I was like, hey mom, can I have like one pack? Cause she's gonna give it to like a relative. She's gonna re give all the rest to a relative who does actually eat spicy noodles like this. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, mom, can I at least have one pack, one pack to, uh, for content, for content. <laughs> Ken, can you eat it already? I gotta explain the story if we just hop right in. That's not good. That's not the true. That's not the true story. <laughs> Take your five while you can. <laughs> Those are barely even spicy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're, the, you're listening to a girl who doesn't mind spicy food, but doesn't, uh, but doesn't like hot sauce. So who knows? Who knows? I just want to hear kids agony screaming. <laughs> Kendra, the noodles are cold already. I just made them like, like what? five minutes ago, so don't worry, don't worry. Let's see, let's see, let's stir them up real quick. Let the heat uh, it, it permeate once more. So pretty much, no one hydrate makers. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that pretty much throughout the rest of the stream, I'm gonna try and down this bowl. I have not tried this noodle at all since she bought it. And I've been trying to do this quote unquote ramen challenge for like a month. And then I would forget. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we got, we got it. We just, we just gonna hop right in. We just gonna hop right in because, of course, people want me to hop right in instead of savoring the moment. I'm gonna delay it and make you wait longer because you tried to rush me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I feel like if Ken was in an RPG, she would have won it. She would have won an HP defense. <laughs> what the heck? Do I don't have MD for what the heck, bro? No one hydrate this is reputable. <laughs> All right, take it. All right. All right. I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Blast off. Hey, oh, it's not that bad. Okay, there we go. There we go. The spice is kicking in. All right, the spice is kicking in a little bit. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I was expecting worse. I was expecting worse. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Should have gotten bull Bulldog Black Pack. 
Oh no, God no. <laughs> Random Thai dish amateur, you traitors. <laughs> All right, this, there we go. The spice is starting to kick in around my mouth. What is it? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That next. Oh. That next bite was actually. Well, <laughs> that next bite was actually really spicy. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 I can feel it going down the back of my throat. Okay, uh, oh, 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 okay, it's actually go- Okay, it's actually going down the back of my throat. Oh my gosh. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> oh, prevent it, Flynn, prevent- Okay, that was actually a bad idea! It got up to the roof of my mouth! In the back! Can watch what you're saying. Get out of here, loody boy! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Third bite's the charm. Third bite, fourth bite's the charm. I was like, that's not that bad. <laughs> Ah, I will clip this and post it without context. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, oh. Okay, ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, 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 I'm banning my mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, ah. Uh. So what does everybody want to talk about today? What's, what everybody want to talk about today? It's not like crying burning, but man, that is actually, that is, that's pretty burning. Okay, I gotta take the hydrates, thankfully, because somebody put hydrates. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna count the previous ones. I'm not gonna count the previous ones, but there you go, there you go. Ken, I got the best pick of you. <laughs> Hello, Nightmare Soft. Hello, Booba Sweat. Hello, Mimor the Epic. Hello, Kuma Kuma the Bear. Thank you for entering chat. And hello, Derek Foxfit. <laughs> Should make a head every time I come here. I'm sad. I can't have Booba Sweat. <laughs> it is in Discord. What is this thing you have sent me? Oh, yeah. We got to explain that because I got to talk about that because that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Not them lifeless eyes. <laughs> Why is it still burning? Why is it still burning? Oh my gosh. Speaking of burning, guys, what have you been doing in Discord? For real. Guys? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this picture. And we'll probably talk about it when we get to it, but man. What, what, how's every, how's everybody's, uh, weekend been so far? How has everybody's weekend been? Um, how's everyone's weekend been? Of course it's Webby. <laughs> anyway, I'm splatting squids. Nice! Splatoon fans here. No hydrates. Of course you said no hydrates. Of course you would argue for no hydrates. Screw you. Soul Slayer! <laughs> How you feel, Kedra? Pretty good, pretty good. Not gonna lie though, I literally had Chipotle right before this, and I and I'm pretty strong with Chipotle. I'm pretty strong with Chipotle. I'm pretty strong with really spicy food in general. But not gonna lie, was not expecting that. It was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. And I've eaten some pretty spicy food. <laughs> Br Bruh, Jinka Yakult. What the heck is a Yakult? Gosh. Now you have me thinking about how it, Korean heat hits different. I bet it does. What is it? One more bite. Another bite for the champions. <laughs> then this is no funny. <laughs> how are the noodles? They taste great, but the thing is, though, is they still burn like heck. <laughs> like, they're, like, right above the Chipotle, like, Chipotle uh, food I get. So what is it? I usually get brown rice, cheese... Uh, and the steak, and the steak is usually spicy, and black beans, and the steak is usually spicy. And so, I usually have the other stuff to mitigate the heat, so that it lessens the heat. This is not that. 
This is like a step above that a little bit. <laughs> this is that, this is that, just a little bit of that more. Like, bro. <laughs> ah. So, and the fact that Soul Slayer is trying to argue for no hydrates, I hate you. <laughs> I was expecting you to get out of your stream to go to the kitchen or something to get water. Listen, listen. One thing my mom is not gonna do is accidentally buy super spicy noodles. Maybe one, maybe, maybe next time, maybe next time, but this is still pretty spicy. <laughs> go eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of go eat a ghost pepper. So uh, to explain this, cause apparently I'm gonna have to explain this at some point. Apparently some people in the Discord server, uh, what happened was that they were making fun of me. And so I told them, go eat a ghost pepper. And so ever since then, I think this has been going on for like a week at least. <laughs> a bunch of my, <laughs> a bunch of you guys have been spamming, uh, go eat a ghost pepper every time you get insulted. <laughs> And it's like, again, it's been going on for a week, and I'm just like, this is great. <laughs> Hello, Mirai. Hello on the YouTube end. You could have you could use you could have used some milk too. I hate milk. Milk is gross without cereal, so no. Milk is only good with two things: hot chocolate and cereal. <laughs> Eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> and what is it? It culminated to this lovely image being made, and I can't tell if I love it or hate it. <laughs> Here we go. Go eat a ghost pe- go eat- <laughs> Go eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> eat a ghost pepper, bro. You gonna make fun of me? Go eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> The ironic thing is we were talking about ghost peppers. I was talking about ghost peppers with my sister and that's why I, that's why I said that in Discord. Cause we were talking about uh, C Dog VA's story of how his brother put like ghost peppers in his family's uh, dinner one night. And I'm just like, man, that's gotta suck. <laughs> Dang, pure style, yay dipper. <laughs> you what? <laughs> All right, another bite for the homies. Another bite for the homies. More, we're gonna complete this. Oh my gosh, we're still gonna eat. I've barely even scratched the surface. Mind you, I eat noodles pretty fast, but we've barely scratched the surface of this. <laughs> mm. Two bites should be good. Eh. Okay, oh, okay, now it's hitting at select areas of my tongue. Please stop. Please stop. What did you say about milk? I said milk is disgusting outside of cereal and hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh. oh, it's going around the back of my mouth. It's going around the back of my mouth. It's it's sliding, it's sliding, the heat is sliding. Your weak skeleton, mmm, you weak skeleton calcium listier. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Screw you too. <laughs> Go eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> Why is it circling the back? It's circling the back of my mouth. Oh my gosh. It's at this is actually, this is actually kind of painful. And I can't like cough it up or it's gonna hit the back of my, it's gonna hit the roof of my mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, this is actually kind of burning a bit. Oh, okay, what do you guys want to talk about? I want to talk about shoujo today, you know, because people, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know what this annoyance of, of things is reminding me of? Little Witch Adelier. <laughs> I don't think I'm mature enough for this stream. You know what, X, fair. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, whatever. That's pretty gay, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> What's shoujo? <laughs> oh. Shoujo. Okay, so not a specific shoujo, but just the whole shoujo debate that's been going on since this morning on my timeline. Okay. 
Can't put the image like screenshot of you over your VTuber. No. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take that. Wait, how that gay are you, girl? Unless! <laughs> Have you been a fanboy the whole time, bro? It's so funny, though. Knock! <laughs> Alright, another, another one for the homies. Another one for the homies. There's been a shoujo debate for what now? So... Mm, another bite for the homies to continue this discussion. <laughs> uh, imagine Ken is a guy. <laughs> Listen, I've already thought of like 50 gender bent versions of myself. It'll happen one day. It'll happen one day. Okay, and it burns once more. So, basically what's been going on with the shoujo debate as of late is that everyone is mad that no one is hyping up shoujo. But the problem is, though, is I think everyone has it in the wrong place because they keep saying something something misogyny instead of, guess what, something something the shoujo community doesn't hype up their shoujo just as much as the shonen community hypes up shonen. That's what I mean. And the reason why, the reason why I don't think it's misogyny because people still, people are, people are going to series with female leads. People are going to series with female leads written by female authors, some male authors, some female authors, and stuff like that. Mmm, and it's burning again, my mouth! Okay. <laughs> Do a deep voice to try and sound like a guy, uh, this is probably about as deep as you're gonna get. <laughs> that again. Yes, to be honest, it's always people always keep saying misogyny, misogyny, misogyny. When let's be real here, guess what the shonen community is doing? Hyping up shoujo, hyping up shonen. Like you will always see the sh the shonen community hype up a shonen. You will always see them hype up like 50 shonens within a season, and one of them might be mid. Heck. Even Freerin is not is technically should absolutely be discarded because female protagonist, but it's not. In fact, she's one of the most celebrated non-sexual sexualized female leads to date. Yet, people are still gonna keep saying misogyny, even though it's not misogyny. Guess what? Y'all just suck at advertising shoujo. It's cause girls are are all watching BL person BL per instead of shoujo. Not even that. They're also, what is it? A good example. Little Witch Adelier. They keep hyping up Little Witch Adelier as if it's a shoujo. No, it's not. It's a seinen. Because it feels like, it feels like all the seinen authors used to be shoujo authors that quit at the shoujo magazines. So they moved to seinen to get more popular. I know, that sounds so controversial. But that's just my opinion, bro. Suck it up. <laughs> Ken, why do I feel like you're a different person on Discord? Can I be real here? It's because I don't respond that much to text. I don't even respond that much to family text. I am so stilted when it comes to text, unless it sounds philosophical. That's why you see me go on long tirade essays on Twitter. <laughs> I'm, I'm more put together in text form. <laughs> Another bite. Another big bite for the homies. Oh my gosh. No, I just got this. Okay, here we go. Uh, dang it, got, I got some of the spice things on it. On my mouse pad, dang. <laughs> this is only a little bit. All right, another, another bite for the homies. Mm. The only shoujo I like is Katawa. Base. <laughs> Spicy noodles. Yes, Bunny likes carrots. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I took, I took a sip. I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to. Can I should make an entire bit in a stream to explain to you the lore of Guilty Gear terribly. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, on Saturday, Soul Dipper spent like, what is it? I want to say at least like over five hours explaining to me the characters of Guilty Gear. Not gonna lie, it's pretty great. <laughs> I like it. Arc systems need to improve their cutscenes and not just the battle scenes though. Though some of their cutscenes are pretty funny, like the baby one. <laughs> Mother Deer then explodes on the phone. <laughs> 
Well, I'm just checking in. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good stream. All right, all right. Thank you <laughs> for stopping in. Bunny likes carrots. Strive or pre-strive? Uh, both, both strive and pre-strive. Pretty much, we both agreed, and we're not gonna bring up you know who. We're not gonna bring up you know who for every reason in the book. <laughs> Babies come from the. <laughs> Yeah, shoujo fans don't talk about their shoujo series or manga don't even, what is it? Manga don't event the popular ones like Pretty Cure. Yeah, pretty much. That's my problem with like a lot of shoujo. That's why I like, cause we, we did a manga stream where we tried to uh, prop up a new shoujo that had come out recently or recently when we uh, made the stream. If you go back in my streams bit, you'll find Firefly Wedding. Go read it, go check it out. You can find it for free and on a paid for service. And please, for the love of all things holy, please send spam Viz Media to have it officially released. Please. I honestly can't tell the difference between shoujo and romance. To be honest, because they're that intertwined, bro. What is it? So you know like with Shonen, it's like, and when you think of shonen, you think of boys, because it means boys in English. And then when you think of shonen fights, you think of shonen battles, and you think, you, you just think, with shonen, you think of heavy hitter, boys fighting and everything like that. But when you go to the shonen genre as of late, you can go eat, go eat and go pepper. You know what, fine, we're gonna eat it. We're gonna take another bite for the homies. <laughs> Dude, the mom get out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft with Twitter. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what is it? The problem. The thing is, though, is when you look at sh Shonen, even Shonen Jump, as of recently, Shonen is no longer about fighting and battles and stuff like that. They're about conflict resolutions. They're about people just wanting to be the very best. Blue period. If I remember correctly, that is a Shonen. Blue Period is one of the most celebrated series for being the most inclusive and most like out of your box type thing you've ever seen. What about, uh, what is it? Was it, uh, Akane Bachi, Akane Buchi or Akane Ban, or Akane Ban? She? The one about the Rakugo girl. That's pretty out there. That's actually, I actually really kind of like the first chapter. Not sure about the next chapters. I still got to read those, but like that has a female protagonist and that thing is celebrated like all get out. But guess what? You can't really say the same for like show for like shoujo and stuff like that. Like, yeah, like, yeah, just like you can't separate the shonen from the tournament arc. Exactly, exactly. And like the tournament arc in shonen has like now broadened from just fighting. It's like, I need to win the competition. I need to be the very best. I even, so what is it? You can't even say it's like, you can't even say that it's like, um, <laughs> it's like burning a little bit. The, the heat's going down. You can't even say like Shonen is like lacking of romance because now there's romance series starting to enter into Shonen Jump. They're not good romances, not all of them, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, but they're still, but they're still trying something. Like what is it? People were telling Shonen Jump, we need to push. The people are trying to push for Shonen Jump to be more than just heavy hitter Dragon Ball copies. <laughs> and we got that. But the thing is, because people are asking for that from Shonen Jump, it's kind of ignoring every other genre. And it's burning. It's actually burning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would write the worst romance. <laughs> I am writing the worst romance. Great. You'll probably be better than 50 romances out there. I think I pretty much just, like, again, like I said, in that, like, think about it. What do Little Witch, what is Little Witch Atelier, Hori Mia, and Skip and Loafer have in common? I'll write one worse. <laughs> like, okay, okay, think about it. What does Hori Mia, Skip and Loafer, and Little Witch Atelier have in common? I'll let you take a guess. Oh, y'all literally will go 20 minutes of no hydrates just to make me suffer. Oh my gosh. 
Shoes, they all wear shoes. <laughs> okay, good, good answer, you're right, they all do wear shoes. <laughs> but if we had to really like pinpoint it, you know what's funny? They're all show, they're all seining. They're all seining manga, yet they're constantly, constantly praised as if they were shoujo. Heck, I'm pretty sure at some point people thought Hori Mia was a shonen. You know why? Because I thought that. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh, gosh, gosh. <laughs> Me trying to be philosophical as I'm burning to death. <laughs> Wrong, obscure manga. <laughs> I mean, you get what I mean, right? You get what I mean. But the thing is, though, is people treat them like shoujo because it feels like they're written by shoujo authors. It feels like they're written by shoujo authors, but they're not. What is it? I, I, another good one. <laughs> Berserk is a ber <laughs> Berserk is a seinen manga. Exactly. The seinen and shonen mangas are more than just fighting and people beating each other up. Because it feels like people are going to seinen magazines and sh shonen magazines to push the limit. Because they're the ones offering to push the limit. But with shoujo, it feels like shoujo regressed from what it used to be. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know what seinen is either, though. True, but people are becoming more aware of seinen manga, and people are, like, looking for seinen manga. Like, solo leveling is clearly, if we were to categorize it, a seinen. I wish everything was just beating people up. <laughs> don't we all, in some ways, don't we all? What is it? Land of the Lustrous is one of the best, has one of the best, like, female presenting protagonist of all time that's a seinen that i thought it was a jose at first but it is it's a seinen and it's a beautiful seinen imagine if something like land of the lustrous or skip and loafer showed up in a in a shoujo and jose magazine the, shoujo and jose magazine would be looked at more because of just how just how beautiful it just how beautiful they are but you don't really it feels like all the creative people want to go to seinen and stuff like that because that's what they want not only because that's what they want to do but because that's where the that's where they're pushing the boundaries i think with most with most things all media just congregates into everything being the same thing as it circles the drain yeah what is it like what is it a good example back then in like the 80s and 90s and stuff like that you had your magical girls you had these things you had your female protagonist doing red edward what when was the last time we had a modern day magical knights ray earth because i can here's the thing think about it i if you guys have been noticing um sometimes on twitter sometimes on here sometimes even on like um discord i will literally make jokes about how a certain anime is the modern day equivalent of an old anime. A good example, Oshino Ko and what's happening right now, if they really do go down the incest route, <laughs> out, just out of nowhere, it will be the modern day version of Usagi Drop. Or Yosuga no Sora. <laughs> <laughs> like how all movies are all rated PG, are all PG-13 now, and all games are M. Exactly. What is it? Yeah, you know what I mean? Or how, um, what is it? What's another series? Like, what, what, what series now? Like, not in, like, style and storytelling, but in twists and turns that made the community get riled up. What is it? Like, um, like, I used the Oshinoko one, for example. But, like, eventually there's gonna be, like, a mo there's gonna be an equivalent to One Piece where the author is just so good at world building and continuing his series for over 20 years like that. There's gonna be someone who's gonna be the next Toriyama. There's gonna be someone who creates the next whatever. But I don't see that happening for shoujo series. There's not gonna be the modern equivalent of Fruits Basket. Even the author could not make a modern equivalent of Fruits Basket. I know, because I actually checked out her stuff. Hasn't there been a bunch that did the Madoka twist? Yep. 
But there's not a good one that does the modern day Madoka. Like, what is it? The equivalent of Madoka when Madoka released? The modern, what is it? The past? What was considered modern back then? What is it? I guess technically, if we really, what is it? <sighs> what is it? The one, because there were a bunch of Madoka uh, series that were also twist. And then Madoka came out and really popularized the genre. And it was actually good when they did it too. I'm thinking of this one series um, from the 90s about these magical girls that looked like they were wearing hockey pads. That was that version, that was that time's version of Madoka. I don't think anyone could make a modern day end of Ava. It would depend. What is it? You'd have to have something. What is it? <laughs> All right, another bite for the homies. The spice is wearing off. Actually, that's not what the industry wants to have wants to have happen. Having only a few IPs as big as One Piece were terrible for them because that was all they could sell. It depends, though. It depends because what happened was that they started to have to. What is it? They quickly realized that we cannot keep chasing the success of One Piece. We have to still put stuff out there because let's be real here. With what Toriyama showed, with what Toriyama showed, bro. Anyone can just drop at a moment, even though, even if they seemed healthy. Because the industry, like, the industry is constantly pumping things out, just to make sure. What is it? The, uh, what would you say is the modern equivalent of Love Hina? Technically 100, it, would you guys agree that 100 Girlfriends is technically the modern day version of Love Hina? I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Can't look at this girl again. They made another version. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. One literally streaked across. One literally just skidded across the roof of my mouth. Oh, that was actually painful. That was actually painful. That was actually painful. Oh my gosh. Ow, ow. And it hit the roof of my mouth. Uh, breathing makes it worse. Could, technically, it could be. I could. I, it could have. It could. I have to rewatch Love Hina to know. I mean, just mostly in regards to harem. Or maybe 100 Girlfriends. It has like its own uh, past equivalent that I can't think of right now. Oh my gosh, I need to. Someone press the hydrate button, please! <laughs> Tolerance will be built if you like it or not. <laughs> I want to break my own rules because you guys suck. <laughs> I'm gonna break my own rules because you guys suck. I'm not gonna do it yet though. <laughs> Only when it's unbearable. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right here. What is it? Here we go. Let's, let's put this right here. Frame it like a picture frame. Go eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> Once you do. What? What you <laughs> expect, baby? I drink small. All I can go eat a ghost pepper. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> we will be finishing this before the end of stream. <laughs> we should only do all of our points at the end of stream. You do that. I'm good. We won't even have water in the cup anymore. <laughs> Of course, if you ask that.
<laughs> in terms of shoujo, there is no modern equivalent of shoujo that is as popular as, say, in the early 2000s with number one. Number one, the reason why a lot of these series are more valued now than before. Because I saw someone try and put Princess Tutu in the in the list of under and of shoujos that we we won't ever have anymore bro the early 2000s were full of shoujo that y'all never picked up to begin with so shut up and never hyped up princess tutu only recently got popularity as of as of like five years ago i ain't joking i noticed it you know why because no one was talking about the anniversary merch that i had to go take to the discord not the discord I had to go to the Princess Tutu subreddit and put out the merch and art that was incoming by the day by myself and nobody else was doing so. Same thing happened with the freaking r slash penguin drum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna r slash mawaru penguin drum. <laughs> She's tweaking. <laughs> The <laughs> solidarity where nobody to you that is real here. <laughs> She's doing it. Cage, if you don't like us, well, you through the comments, you may enter the VC and you can listen to it live. Shut up. <laughs> of course you all are in v of course you're in VC. Of course you're in VC screwing around like a bunch of like a bunch of schoolboys. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you all. <laughs> Another bite for the homies. <laughs> 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 All right. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Great. Let that spice simmer, guys. Let the spice in. <laughs> mm. The instinct, the inner instinct to grab a cup of water right now. The inner instinct to grab a cup of water. <laughs> You're welcome, Derek's Fox Fit. I hope you loved the salted fries. <laughs> Speaking of early 2000s shoujo that needs a cult following super- Yo, we got a super gal spin in the chat! Yo, my girl Ron Kotobuki. My girl Ron Kotobuki. We're so drawing her eventually. Gosh, I love Ron. Ron is- Sounds like I'm actually crying. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, Ken, live HD bullying in the VC. Shut up. <laughs> I don't think you even you can even watch that one anywhere, Derek. What is it? Yeah, you gotta like you gotta probably like you're gonna. What is it? Super Gals? You can find like the first couple of episodes on there. Imagine the voice of Ochiko, because that's the English dub voice actress for Ron. Imagine Otiko literally talking about how she like does not care for you and she steals your bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love I love Ron Kotobuki. She's such she's such a role model. <laughs> To be fair, I didn't say which recommendations. <laughs> true, true. Me like this. Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Great, the burps are starting to set in. <laughs> oh, I almost want to stall, but I can't. <laughs> no, nah, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. I know we went on that whole rant, but I actually do mean it. And the thing with shoujo fans, and this is not to like bash them, do not go attack shonen, shoujo fans, obviously. But the thing with shoujo fans that I have a problem with is that we will, not even we, you guys will constantly complain about shoujo. 
and then not watch the shoujos that you recommend. And then when we do catch you watching shoujo, you're bragging about how it's quote unquote better than shonen. To which I say, shut up. The amount of conversations I've seen where girls, where some, not even girls, just shonen fans, and shoujo fans in general, will literally bash a shonen, a shonen, again, a series aimed at 15 to 16, even like just 19 year old boys. They will bash a series aimed at teenage boys. Then when you call out the shoujo, a good example, uh, they will, you will call out a show, what is it, a good example, Fruits Baskets. I love Fruits Baskets. But the thing with Fruits Baskets is that it has a big, it has a specific story that it's trying to tell. That mistakes, the mistakes of your ancestors mean nothing to what you're doing. And that is like all comes, to cul cul that all culminates together with Toru's mom and dad. Toru's dad met his met her mom in high school and they got married while she was still underage. That was a mistake that even the manga tells you was not a good thing, but she, they still love Toru even with their mistakes. And of course it led to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we kind of need to bully them a little bit. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But the thing is, though, is if you tell that, but the thing is, though, is you, <laughs> next bite. Okay, fine, I was delaying it longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, guys. It cannot be delayed. Mm -hmm. I love the spice that sets back on the back of the throat. Hopefully that doesn't hit the roof of my mouth at some point. Mm-hmm. Yay, yummy! <laughs> the problem is though, <laughs> don't die, Ken. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I'm not even really this bad with spice. I think it's, I'm just not used to this type of spice. I usually have water. I usually eat, I usually drink water with it, but apparently my chat is refusing to redeem a hydrate button. Oh, but I'm not <laughs> Screw you. Mmm, <laughs> another one for the homies. <laughs> All right. Mmm, yay, yummy. <laughs> oh, the spice increased. Why are none of you redeeming? <laughs> Does the pain taste good? Shut up. <laughs> Y'all listening to my shoujo ramblings while I die. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> what is it? We want you to beg. I'm not begging. I ain't that. I ain't that desperate. <laughs> I'm not on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Y'all suck. Y'all suck so much. Not you, Nightmare Soft. Because <laughs> apparently, Nightmare Soft is my only ally here. <laughs> Gosh, she's going crazy. <laughs> what is it? With like shoujo fans, to continue what I said, with shoujo fans, when you, they will go up, down, left, right, night and day to complain about the latest shonen and the fan service within said shonen. Yet when you call out their shoujo series, again, Fruits Baskets, this is a real example I saw. Two examples, I'm gonna tell you two examples. When people called out the technically grooming, technically grooming pedophilia character in Fruits Basket. The character, the, the number one, the OP got so defensive and was like, why are you attacking me? I know it's wrong, but I don't support it. But you still bought the manga. You still bought the manga. You still bought the merch. You still bought it and you still watched it. 
And then they proceeded to label my dress up darling as CP, despite the fact that they still watched the entire series, meaning go to jail, first off. Go to jail. <laughs> we should only water the deer once every hour. Oh, shut up. Oh, yeah, the hours, uh, the hours almost what? I got nine minutes. I got nine minutes. Screw you. We got nine minutes. Hi Kendra, are you drinking the broth? No, I. so the way I cook noodles is that, uh, it depends on how much water you put in, and if the, and, um, it's, uh, what is it? It's like, the broth is absorbed completely into the noodles, so there's no broth. I'm eating, like, I'm eating, I'm eating, like, wet noodles that are, like, 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 you know, like, dry, like, dry noodles, but they're still, like, absorbed with the water, so there's no broth it's just pure heat no liquid in sight <laughs> i showed you what it looked like in the, on, on twitter what is it it like look what is it? on twitter it just you you you're, you look exactly what is it let me put it in the discord <sighs> hello sir drill sir sir drill illustration hello thank you for the thank you for joining the discord this is what it looks like. <sighs> you should have used more, more water then. Well, that's how I just make noodles normally. So that's why. That's how I make noodles normally. So I'm <sighs> the instinct to grab water. <sighs> I usually just eat beef and chicken noodles. This is out of my, out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look red enough. Oh no, it's completely red. It's completely red. I just have an orange light. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Phew. To be honest, it looks similar to the beef noodles when I look at it in the picture. <laughs> Didn't see. I put it in the Discord. I put it in the Discord. Yeah. What is with the back and forth? What is with the back and forth notifications? I am getting. I can hear. <laughs> hello, hello, Sir Dr Sir Drillustration. Sir Dillustration. <laughs> Looks like rice. That's how I usually crunch up my noodles. I usually, we usually crunch them up and then we just toss them in the microwave and then that's about it. So, yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> nah, what is it? I usually crunch up my noodles and then we toss that thing, we toss that sucker in the microwave for like three minutes. I rarely cook noodles in a pot anymore. I have not cooked noodles in a part, in a pot since. 2009? Yeah. <laughs> Kendra, you are never making new <laughs> noodles for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have not made noodles in a long time. <laughs> not in a pot. My mom's the only one who makes noodles in a pot, but like other than that, yeah, I have not made noodles like that ever since. <laughs> All right. We're finally one third of the way there. We are one third of the way there. Since the burning water incident. What burning water? Wh booba, booba. What burning water incident? The reason why is because we had a babysitter that was like, hey, just microwave some noodles. You'll, you'll get your food faster. <laughs> mm, we are... We, we are one third of the way there. Ha not even half, not even halfway there. Oh my gosh. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Do you put water on a plate? What? No. Why would I do that? What, what the heck? Why would I do that? Why? Who does that? 
<laughs> it tastes kind of good, but like not at the same time. Probably because I need water. 45 minutes. Screw all of you, except for Nightmare Soft. <laughs> it burns in a good way. Screw you. <laughs> Gosh, gosh, gosh. <laughs> now nah, I don't think you need water. I will find you. <laughs> just, <laughs> just take another bite. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, thank you for the thank you for joining the Discord, Nightmare Soft. Yeah. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I forgot what character talks like that. All right, one more. <sighs> We're not even halfway there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you cannot find me. I am a part of chat. I will find you. I will find you. Take it or leave it. You think I had a ball for that trick? Who's to say that if I take three bites right now, you don't take back your promise? I just posted R if you want to see it later. All right, let me see, let me see. Yo, that's pretty fire, bro. I like that. Yee. Nah, I love it. The Griffin is great. Griffin is great. Make it five and I'll join. I'll make it a blood oath. Screw your blood oath. I can't even see the blood. Do not send me a picture of blood. Do not. We got two more minutes left. At the top of the hour, I will get water. And you better prepare your hydrates at the top of the, in two minutes. Thanks, hello. You're welcome. You're welcome, Estril Illustration. <sighs> I hate all of you except for Nightmare Soft and S in Sir, Drill Sir Dillustration. I hate all of you except Nightmare Soft and Sir Dillustration. <laughs> Every last one of you except Nightmare Soft and Sir Dillustration are dead to me. <laughs> Can we get to? Send out three hydrates, and then I'll eat two at once. Three hydrates. Take it or leave it. Now. So I can only trust your word. One, b one before three after. One before, three after. It's a trap. I mean it. If you send out three hydrates, I will eat three at once. Hurry up and finish the noodles. I got hydrates to redeem. <laughs> Yo, everyone gets that hydrate each. I would have to leave and get more water if I did that. <laughs> Fine, I'll eat three. You better give me hydrates. One. Three, two. It's burnt. It burns so bad. It burns so much. Three. Gimme!
the water is gone. And it's still not not burning! Oh, it's still burning! Thank you, Booba Sweat. <laughs> still burning. I now have to go get up and go get water. <laughs> That's why you drink milk. Shut up. I hate milk outside of cereal. And hot chocolate. some ice cubes lol <laughs> then just spray lemon juice onto your mouth why would i do that water like the good americans say not water water <laughs> water <laughs> we'll never know Gosh, oh my gosh, what is, what's another topic? Cause we've been going on for about, on sh we've been like literally rambling about shoujo for an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that'll be a conversation we continue another day. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Guys, guys! Oh my gosh, I forgot, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Has anyone else been getting those Sonic ads? <laughs> Has anyone else been getting those Sonic ads? What is water? Water. <laughs> Why is it water and not what him? <laughs> because he what him with your mom? <laughs> what Sonic ad? What are ads? <laughs> okay, okay. I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you guys. I'm pulling up a clip. I'm gonna pull up a clip. Cause I've been getting spammed with this ad for a while. For, not even for a while. I've been getting this spam with this ad recently. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog claims. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is it. I have no clue why we've I've been getting this ad and they're not telling me why, but they're offering me offering me compensation. What is it? Gosh. Application audio. What is it? Uh Here we go, uh, opera, opera, window, uh, here we go, here we go, I've been getting this ad as of late, let me move that right here, <laughs> listen to this ad, hold it, hold on, hold on, let me, I forgot to do, undo the, okay, here we go, like the hedgehog, you Wait, likely qual, did you, did you play Sonic the Hedgehog? You likely qualify for hundreds of dollars in compensation. Sign up for a compensation claim if you played any of the games listed. Yes. <laughs> Signing up is free and takes two to three minutes. Exactly. And then they just don't explain. They don't explain what I'm being compensated for. <laughs> They just don't explain what I'm being compensated for. I'm like, what? Compensation for what? <laughs> Based. <laughs> I'm like, what am I being compensated for? <laughs> and they just hate Sonic and Dwarf and will further elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I'll never know. <laughs> All right, guys, another bite for the homies. <laughs> the homie. <laughs> We're halfway there. Finally. <laughs> Who the freak am I? I'm a Sonic fan, and I haven't seen this. I feel left. I feel left over. The funny thing is, I haven't looked up anything Sonic related in like at all. I think since uh, for not even uh, forces. I haven't even looked up anything for Sonic Forces. Uh, or what was it? No, not no. That's Sonic. I haven't, I haven't looked anything. I haven't looked up anything Sonic related since Sonic Forces. I didn't even look up anything for Sonic Frontier. I, I, I don't know why I'm getting this ad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Y'all Sonic fans out there. <laughs> Y'all Sonic fans, have you been feeling compensated yet? Have you have you gotten your money back? <laughs> have you gotten your money back? <sighs> we must know, we must know. Have thou gotten your money back? <laughs> Ah, uh, the spice is finally kicking in once more. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you, spice. <sighs> Man. What a day. We've been eating, we've been eating these noodles for an hour. I usually get food done in like 30 minutes or less. <laughs> Yet here I am, suffering for the sake of entertainment. I didn't choose the noodle life, the noodle life chose me. <laughs> Where's my compensation, Sega? <laughs> Well, you didn't get the ad, therefore you can't be, uh, you can't. You can't. I don't have any water! I got water droplets though. <laughs> Boo, get some. Screw you. <laughs> I'll go get some.
I'm back. With water. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Screw all you. <laughs> all right. So the heatness kind of wore off when we went back downstairs. So let's take another bite for the homies. Take another bite for the homies. <laughs> Sounded like a lot of water. It's not. It's literally just some tall cup. <laughs> Thank you, booba sweat. Booba sweat's on my side. <sighs> We're almost <sighs> one more third. One more third. One more third. One more third, one more third, one more third. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm, and there's a word, there's spicier noodles out there. That's my thing. There's spicier noodles out there. And this is already like crippling me. <laughs> it does not help that I actually ate earlier. So I'm battling spice and a full, and a technically now full stomach. <laughs> My brother brought brought me and him tickets to a Sims concert. Um, actually, that was for, that was for before you took the mic. <laughs> true, true. Thank you. <laughs> nice Sims. Why does why does Sims sound familiar? Sims concert, Sims. I'm thinking of Sid. I'm thinking of the band Sid now. Sid, the, they did the Black Butler opening themes, Monochrome Kiss, Book of Circus, I'm pretty sure Book of the Atlantic too, yeah. Most likely gonna do the uh, school art coming up, upcoming too. Sim concert. The heck is Sim? They look like the Gazette. They look like the bud like they look like budget gazette. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's another bland band that did Black Butler opening. <laughs> nah, but their music was way better than season two. Combined. <laughs> oh brother. Imagine trying to battle a full stomach and eating spicy food. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. I know that for sure. Another bite for the homies. Another bite for the homies. Excuse me. We are now officially close to one third of the way done. Oh my gosh. I hate this so much. And the spice is returned. They're gonna perform their Play Dead album. I've never heard of I've never heard of Sid Sim. I only know about Sid. I know about uh, you're listening. You're looking at a girl who mostly has J Japanese music as her discography. You go through my playlist. There's like so little English anything. And if it is English, it's an English cover of a Japanese song. <laughs> That's what my brother said. Have you seen AOT? Attack on Titan, uh, can I be real with you? I didn't watch it. Not because I thought it was lame or anything, I just didn't feel like it. I just thought it was kind of like, meh, it's Attack on Titan. It's like One Piece, or One Piece in regards to popularity, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh, I hate all of you. <laughs> Oh, there we go. The spice. That spice is returning with full with full throttleness. Oh my gosh. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. It could have been like earlier where it literally kicked on where it attached to my tongue and then because of my salivatory gr glands, it kicked up and hit the roof of my mouth. 
And they made the rumbling for Attack on Titan. Man, I didn't listen to the rumbling. <laughs> I didn't listen to the rumbling. I was like, man, the rumbling came out. I better not listen to it just because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I know some people are gonna be like, you are so uncultured. I'm sorry. I was focused on Land of the Lustrous. <laughs> Their own original songs are really good too. All right, all right, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can only really, g can I be real here? I'm still in the era where Attack on Titan's first opening was first released, so so I'm I'm still stuck with Jaeger. I'm still stuck with, with, with when everyone thought Jaeger was the coolest thing. <laughs> I'm a fan of Sweet Dreams from the Play Dead album. Now you're just making me think of Hachi Ananashi, or Vandashaw, or Yuri Kuriyama, the 50 other names that he goes by nowadays, where he actually has a little instrumental called Sweet Dreams. Man, I need to go listen to that one again. <laughs> All right, another bye for the homies. Well, well. Mm -hmm. Suffering, suffering, Tuckatash. I'm trying so hard to get this done so that we not focused on this. <laughs> but three lines are pretty silly. Listen, one so listen, some songs just have that one line that's just super funny, even though it's supposed to be super serious. And I'd be what is it? A good example. One of my favorite Vocaloid songs is Life Reset Button. And the there's a literal the second part of the song before it gets to the chorus is literally about how a dude reset time for himself so many times and in every way possible, he wanted to get with the girl. And so he re reset his time so many times just to become her type. And then, you know what she, you know what she, she, she did? She just still said, nah, I ain't into you, bro. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, man, this sounded way cooler when I did not know the lyrics. <laughs> Don't bother me when I'm trying to win spaghetti. 2020 was a huge nightmare. That's not a line. That's just that's just facts. Just like being killed by Freddy. Fazbear? <laughs> I know it's I know I know it's either Freddy Mercury or uh or uh, Cre Freddy Krueger. But like you know, Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Someone said spicy. I was summoned. Hello, Pupperolan. We're eating spicy noodles. I am almost finished, and I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> She's almost done. Chugging. I am not chugging this. <laughs> OMG, Freddy Fazbear. Or, or, or. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a really spicy one. It was a big piece too. Mmm, <sighs> blowing it makes it worse. I forgot. Mmm, the habit, the habit, the habit to cool off. The habit to drink water. <laughs> I. Dang, some are just lucky. <laughs> ah. I need water. I need water. <sighs> Technically, if I bend the rules right now. Technically, if I bend the rules right now, I can take booba sweats, previous, a previous hydrates, and turn them into two hydrates to split. Not ice cream? No. Beg. I refuse to beg! I'm not losing my dignity. I have my dignity. I may have a burnt tongue, but I have dignity. And it's burning. Well, okay, a couple more bites. 
you know, well, you know, soda with salt it helps with the spiciness. I can't drink soda. Weren't you there for the Ramune stream? <laughs> You have that? Mm. Uh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. We have one more full bite left. Say it with me now. You're finished. And of course, some pieces still fell off. We have defeated victory! Uh, I have conquered spicy noodles. Therefore, the water placement of only five hydrates has been reinstated. Screw you all. Thank you for the claps, Papa pa pa Rolan. Thank you for the claps. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> but I'm still the loser. Because even though they're small, this freaking bowl of spicy noodles stained my mouse pad a little bit. I am the true loser. The good news is I brought ice with me while I was getting water earlier. I shall be free soon. <laughs> so I've been rambling to myself and <laughs> that's great, Kendra. That's cheating. I have not touched ice since earlier. Have a bonus, of course. Screw every last one of you. Except for Papa, Ro pa uh, Papa Roland, because he just got here. Nightmare Soft. And Sir Dillion. Dillustration. Every last one of you. Are just trying to make me explode. <laughs> we also love you, Kendra. Shut up. I hate you all. <laughs> okay. Ghost Pepper Kendra. Why don't you fly into the sun, Soul Dipper? <laughs> That's it. All the water's gone. Now it is only time for ice. <laughs> I feel like I might actually die. <laughs> What is it? What is it? Gosh. And to think people do this for challenges. Y'all ever remember the one chip challenge? Or like that one, where is it? People did this one, what was it? The one chip. People did the one chip challenge. I could barely handle that. And even then it was still manageable for the most part. Only when spice kept kicking up, get, kept getting kicked up into the wrong parts of my mouth. But I can't imagine something like the one chip challenge. Do that too. No. Didn't the one chip challenge claim someone? Yeah. It did. 
So they were selling it on store shelves for some reason, and a kid bought it, did the one shoot challenge, <laughs> and died. <laughs> like, that's not funny, but at the same time, it kind of is. <laughs> Only a little bit. Only a little bit. I know that sounds sadistic, but <laughs> a kid, yes. He like ate, he ate the chip and died. Mm -hmm. Yep. Honestly, skill. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What is it? Honestly, skill issue. Yeah, kind of just, kind of just Peter Griffin. Again, it is sad, but it's just you know. <laughs> yeah, no. Immediately fell off the shelves. Yeah, when it killed a kid, they took it off the shelves. Now you can only buy it online, which I don't even know why it was even publicly available on store shelves to begin with. <laughs> the concept is absurd. Yes, yes it is. It truly is. <sighs> if you can't stand the heat, stay away from the kitchen. Thing is, though, is the kid thought he could stand the heat. And he got more than burned in the end, that's for sure. Arson happened. Arson happened in the kitchen. Apparently the food, the blue one, tastes like wet dog food. Understandable, it hurts. <laughs> this is what happens when you when you, when you're not careful, and then you just eat stuff that you're not supposed to. How do they know that? Probably, like, if they have pets, you can smell the food. You can smell the food. Like, what is it? We have dogs. And you'd be surprised how strong dog food smells. You ever eat wet dog- <laughs> eat wet old dog food? <laughs> well, no. I don't. But thank you for giving us a look into your life. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> see, see, us here in Mexico, we eat that chip with hot salsa, lime juice, and cucumber. I don't believe you even for a second. I've been super obsessed with, uh, Igaku since- for, like, earlier. I've been, like, obsessed with Igaku since earlier. I'm, like, playing it on my side. I love it. I love it to death. I love it. I love it all. I love music. I love music quite, like, a lot. <laughs> what is it? Loop it. Because I want to loop it. I've been obsessed mostly with Trickle's cover, because Trickle's cover is so good. Man, Trickles covers awesome. <laughs> Gosh. Y'all have no idea. I, like, you guys have peeked into my Vocaloid obsession every time I talk about it with Ventus. But you guys have no clue how deep it goes. I love it. I love it to death. Just because of how experimental and how it just gives a lot of people opportunities to, like, get popular and stuff. Especially since not a lot of people can cover mainstream songs because of copyright stuff. But man, I love it. I love it. <sighs> My stomach feels like it's about to explode. Chipotle and 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 spicy noodles. Hey Kendra, what? What, Mirai? <laughs> Miku Dayo. Yo, I still got that clip of Miku Dayo in my camera roll. Which, by the way, speaking of Dayo. If you guys notice, I've been uploading uh, what I consider lost media on the channel. Some of y'all are probably like, Kendra, what the heck is this? And I'm just like, guys, guys, think about it. No one else is uploading them and I'm the only one that has them. I'm taking advantage of my channel since I'm getting traction. 
People are finally finding the yeah. Ironina uh, remix by Tubo. And I think the worst one had to be the Peek Me video because I had to screen record it off of Instagram because I thought I deleted mine and turns out it was just buried in my camera roll turned vertical. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peek Me. Welcome to my stream. Only OGs remember. <laughs> if Music Boy only Old, what is it? Only old school members like Music Boy remember have like PTSD flash bangs from that clip. <laughs> Only old school members like Music Boy remember the old stream. To be honest, I kind of want to recreate it. Y'all know, y'all have no idea what I'm capable of with that clip. For those that don't remember, this is a VOD that has been deleted for a long while ago. But back then, I made a stream, an endurance stream, for the chat to stand two plus hours of Pikami saying, Hello, I'm Pikami, welcome to my stream. I'll upload a clip because I still have a clip from that old VOD. And I'm gonna upload it, like, probably next month. But yeah, no, imagine that clip, but for two hours. Now we also have more people, so that's more people to torture. <laughs> I can do it if I wanted to. I really genuinely could do this if I wanted to, and you know what? I want to. I want to recreate that stream. That VOD has lost the history, but the memories are still there. So let's recreate the memories, just with more people now. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Man, Trickle's gotten so good at singing. I'm real. I'm really happy for him. He's like, he like stated one time that like, like people keep comparing him to Eve, but I really genuinely think he can be like the English equivalent of Mafu Mafu. I totally believe it. <laughs> Dang, that Unis Anis line. <laughs> Dang, I really miss Pika. <laughs> we all, let's be real here. I'm happy for her as Henya, because let's be real here, open secret. She's happy as Henya, and that's all I can ask for. But even I was reminiscing back then, like yesterday, being like, man, I kind of wish the Pika Me model was back. I wish, but hey, you can't you can't do anything about that. As long as Peek is happy, I'm happy. That's why I uploaded the clip because I realized nobody else had uploaded the clip when I was uh, doing research, um, trying to put together put together one of those one of my old clips from that old vod, and I was like, man, nobody else uploaded this clip. Technically, this still counts as lost media, like the uh, Ironina remix. So might as well post it. Then I had to delete it last night because again, it was in my camera roll. And while I don't care about the views I get on there, I kind of cared about the views I got on there. Yet somehow, even with the deleted VOD, even with the deleted video, it still <laughs> became number one in my YouTube algorithm timeline. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, gosh. Slipping, slipping. Man. One of these days, I gotta get started on learning how to do covers. And I gotta, like, pad down the room if I really, really, really want to do that. Because I don't have the proper equipment to do covers yet. I'm not sure what I can do, but I will try. I know how to edit my voice in a way where I can uh, make the audio clear from the background. But man, it's gonna be tough trying to learn like uh, Reaper because I'm mostly used to um, Adobe. I'm mostly used to Adobe, um, whatever the name was. And then I switched to Reaper because it was a one-time payment. But I gotta still learn Reaper, so we gotta make- we're probably gonna do a Reaper stream at some point. To relearn. I wonder how many terabytes of lost media I have. 
What is it? I don't save my- I don't download my streams. I stopped downloading my streams because of, um... I got sick of re-uploading the VODs. Can I be real? I got sick of uploading the VODs. That's why I dual stream now. Because I got sick of remembering and waiting to upload VODs. <laughs> I got sick of doing that, and that's why you, uh... That's why, um... I'm just kind of like, guess what? I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm like, I'm sick of uploading VODs! We're dual streaming so that I can just have one singular stream, learn to do thumbnails on one side, learn to make sure I have the proper tags on another side, and it's made my life so much easier. <laughs> it's made my life so much easier, and I don't have to rush or wait and do and wait for uploads and leave my computer on all night that's so annoying which i wasn't doing previously because i tried to upload them all in the morning but still annoying especially when one download one of them goes up faster than the other and then it messes up the timeline of the streams the best way to stream is to cast everything into the void <laughs> <sighs> don't it? Don't don't you? Don't you do so? That's great. I'm gonna put this in chat because man, I love this cover so much. It's uh, uh, it's Igaku. It's the trickle cover of Igaku from that one. Uh, what is it? Uh, he what is it? By that one dude who made Hitomania Hito uh, Hitomania recently. And then he released Igaku, and I've l and I gotta admit the cover of Igaku, Trickle's cover of Igaku is like even better than the original. Hitomania, yeah. This is the same. What is it? So Trickle, Trickle's an English um, utaite, and he did an English cover. And he, uh, there, I like Hito. I like Hitomania. I love Hitomania, but I also like the cover. I love the covers because people. I love listening to covers of English and Japanese because people just get so experimental with their voice. And I really, really love it. And so Trickle has been someone I've been follow- is someone I've been following um, recently. I've been following actually for some time now and man, the improvement he has done to his voice is so inspiring because and even he admits his older covers were not good. But, man, over five years later, bro, over five years later, it's like night and day. You go back to his old covers. What is it? What is it? Compare his cover of Mary Bad and combined with um, uh, Hello Dystopia. And you go up to the, you go, then you, then you jump to his cover of uh, Hiragi Kira's Mobius. And then you jump to Hitomania, not Hitomania, Igaku. This man, I like this cover of Hitomania. If it's who I think it is, I'd love their cover. What is it, what is it? Oh, hold on, let me pause this one, let me listen. One thing I will always be pretty picky about though in covers is when they change the original tune. <laughs> But I always try and give it a chance anyway, because I might like the um, the other tuned one better. What is it? This one's my favorite version of... Uh, I'm gonna uh, give you my favorite cover of Hitomania. Let me see. I mean, I re like I said, I really like what is it? Let me go to my let me go to my subscriber who I'm subscribed to because it's in the subscribe it's in the subscribe. Man, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. They do shorts. Here we go. Here they are. Uh, Shu Sakurai. Shu Sakurai's cover of Hitomania, I love. Because their voice is just so good. They they hit everything I love in, like, in music. Oh, my. 
Gimme. I'm gonna paste it. Here we go. Do we die? Do we die? Here we go. I love their cover of Hitomania. <laughs> Gosh, I like how I just like how weird. I like how weird Vocaloid can get. I love the experimental. I love the weird. I love how it just can just get just anywhere, just anywhere. <laughs> I love I love it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just enjoying my life. Enjoying my life, eating ice. This is the best thing you can do in life. There's nothing there's nothing better. <sighs> totally follow shoe though. Like they I've been I've been following them for a bit and they they're like they're really really good. Like, they're a really good singer. Alien Boy, yes! What is it, what is it? Anything, what is, what else, what else is there? <laughs> We've just kind of gone off on a vocal aid, <laughs> vocal aid talk. <laughs> ah. What's your all-time favorite vocal aid song? You know what with vocal aid on the mind? What's your favorite song, Mirai? Mirai, what's your favorite vocal aid song? <laughs> I must know. I must know. <laughs> I butchered the song completely. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Gosh. We're going back to the Trickle's cover. Trickle's cover of, of... We're going back to Trickle's cover, because I liked it. I liked it a lot. I want to go back to Trickle's cover. Because I really, really, I really, really liked his cover of Igaku. I don't know. With most things, I normally don't have favorites, but let me take a look. Okay, let me see, let me see. Even if it's just something that you like favor more than others, like what is it? <laughs> I just, I just like what is it? That's why I made the Kondrillion playlist because those are all my favorite favorite songs, and even some of my le not like what is it? My passing favorites and my most favorites are in that playlist because I know someone's gonna find something out of it. Like what is it? Like what is it? I put in like uh, what is it? Uh, go shoot, go shoot. What is it? Goshu Nino Mia san. That one's just about. <laughs> this one's just about a succubus. <laughs> ah. One of one of these days, I need to, I need to hook up Discord. I need to hook up Discord with the Kendrillion playlist, just so that somebody, just so that you guys like, just to make the Discord feel, I guess, quote unquote, lived in. Does that make sense? I remember repeating Electric Angel a lot. I have never really given Electric Angel a proper listen, even when I discovered it over 10 years ago. <laughs> it's probably not even that old. That's just how long I've never really given it a, given it a pass. Hmm. I need to. I need to. Who knows? I might like it, I might not like it. But at least I can say I listen to it. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I can already see people, not gonna lie, I can already see people using uh, <laughs> the uh, creator of uh, Hitomania as like uh, an excuse being like, and this is the reason why you should not use AI. <laughs> Which, to be honest, it's a it's a pretty good it's a pretty good excuse. It's a pretty good excuse. Am I right, guys? Right? <laughs> nah, I, I I'm more of like, don't use AI where you shouldn't. And if you're poor, just go wild, bro. Just as long as you ain't trying to pay people. Don't get money from people. I don't know why I thought that the chat went up still. <laughs> The payday lore? What the heck is the payday lore? Despair consumes me. Beautiful. We got edgy people in the chat. The thing with peaking a favorite is that everything is technically my favorite. I choose them over others and collected them into a playlist. For me, is just like and don't like with some on the middle, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much how the Kendrillion playlist functions too. Like some of them aren't my favorite favorites. But, like, some of them are passing favorites, and others are songs I've been obsessed with for years. The majority of them are ones I've been obsessed with for years. Along with new songs that I just add because I like them. Like, a good example, like, because I compiled the playlist, I've been able to find a lot of songs that I remember playing a lot as a kid. Like the Draku Riot opening from that visual novel, Draku Riot. Or, like, uh... Or ones that I've like found new appreciation in, like the horror, the Hari Hari Shuffle from Haruhi Suzumiya. Even though back then I liked it, but not a lot. But yeah, I like <laughs> I like them all. I like I like music. Even if I'm not like a super big fan of some genres over others, I still like specific songs from those genres. Like how I'm not really that big of a fan of screamo, but I do like the screamo bits in Watamote. <laughs> we need to watch. We need to, man. We need to have anime nights at some point, man. Cause I want. I really want to. I really want to have anime nights, like, like by a lot. It just makes that. It just makes the most sense. You know what I mean? Anime nights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm already getting invested in the song, man. I need, man. One thing that I can tell you guys depends what kind. What is it? Wait, depends what kind? What is it? What is it? Wait, what? What was I saying? <laughs> I like went off on a completely different tangent in my head. <laughs> what is it? Uh, like, what is it? Like, what, like, like, I don't like, what is it? When it comes to music, I don't specifically like a genre. There are genres I find more appealing than others. Like, my entire playlist consists of Japanese music. But that's only because I think a lot of Japanese music is really creative. That's not to say that English music is not creative at all. In fact, I really lo am noticing and loving the fact that there's a lot more creative English song producers starting to come out now. Not just in, Jap in Japan, because, like, what is it? One thing that I can, like, I want to say for certain is that for a long time in the Vocaloid community, every English producer outside of Circus, outside of, um, what is it? Outside of Circus P, outside of, uh, Ghost P, outside of just a lot of these producers, they were copying each other. They were trying to be the next Ghost. They were trying to be the next Circus P. They were trying to be the next Kira, but they weren't. And that's why a lot of them were kind of, it was like they were kind of eating each other alive because they were trying to critique and be like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I don't doubt that was not going on in the Japanese side. Like, you know, for certain, even Kikuo had to come out and was like, guys, y'all are being kind of a little bit too harsh on my music. <laughs> And he still got better from it. And now he's like touring LA and stuff like that. But the thing is though with the English community is that they kind of just dismiss you for being an English producer. 
But my problem is that, let's be real here, they dismiss you because you're trying to copy, you're trying to be a blatant copy of another producer. And thankfully, I'm so happy that a lot of these producers in English are finally finding their footing and making the songs they want. Even if it's Japanese inspired, even if it's American inspired, even if it's just anyone inspired. Like, what is it recently with um, Sawtown? Sawtown is like Denpa inspired with like his recent song with like the Miku love shot. Man, I highly recommend that one. I love that one a lot. Because it's just so cute and it's, it's like, it's like he made a song and he didn't copy anyone. It's his own original idea. He, he stuck, he has a genre he's trying to, um, he has a genre he's trying to like, not imitate, but he's trying, uh, trying to, he's inspired by. And he didn't copy anyone. He's making his own thing. Or what is it? There's this one producer who used Miku and uh, Solaria. And it, it's, it sounds awesome. I still love that line of double dog dare you. I really love it. And obviously Circus is like on the rise, like even more than what he was before. And of course, Kira, Kira, he's one of the biggest English producers out there. That's great. Just a lot of stuff happened. And I'm happy that a lot of these English producers, not only English producers, but also like fan, like uh, cover artists and stuff like that are getting noticed by a lot of these Japanese companies not in the same way American companies did, because here's the thing with Japanese companies. They they will sign you up. They are signing people up, or at least this is me from like how I see it. They're contact you, they sign you up, and then whatever you do after this, just just do it. And if they contact you for an anime opportunity, bro, you might, you might want to accept that. <laughs> but they pretty much just let you like just produce songs you're you're in charge haha <laughs> my project is going great <laughs> i'm just kind of rambling on by myself <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like rambling and stuff <laughs> what are you guys doing in discord what is it mirai what is it what is it what is it he's right what is the project what's your project <laughs> Slipping, slipping, slipping. You'll see. All right, all right, we got, we got. We got, we got spoilers a little bit. We got something big coming up. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I told already told Dipper. <gasps> I'ma see in the Discord. I'ma I'ma read it. I'ma spoil it mm -hmm. for everyone. Okay, you should turn this into a server sticker. I actually have I actually can if I wanted to. Can I be real here? All I would have to do mm -hmm. is turn off my what is it? I would have to delete I would have to close Clip Studio. So every no there I would close I would be able to close Clip Studio. For Soul Slayer in the Discord because he's <laughs> induced fear in the VTuber. <laughs> no sweats though, was on the VC. Dang. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Gosh. I'm just so. I'm obsessed. I'm upset. I love music. <laughs> <laughs> me when horse reaction i like how soul slayer has just been harassing soul slayer i love how you've been harassing soul dipper for like the past couple of days with the horse meme we might as well just turn him no no i won't say it on stream Nah, that's normal. <laughs> I, I literally started. Yeah. But. 
It's amazing. This is great. I love this. <laughs> Great, I f thankfully I'm no longer feeling like I need to die in an explosion because of the noodles and Chipotle from earlier. Because I literally ate back to back. <laughs> and the ice, the ice is helping me feel better. <laughs> Man, I love this song so much. <laughs> you guys are like, Gen Gendra, focus. Okay, yes, but, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I like Vocaloid music. <laughs> Sounds like you should eat another pack of noodles, shut up. <laughs> That's the only spicy noodle pack I'm eating in a while because those other packs are heading straight to a relative because I had, because my mom was like, these are spicy. You would like them, but I was like, nah, give them, give them to the relative, but I'm taking at least one pack. Those other packs are going somewhere else. <laughs> slapping, slapping, slapping. <laughs> Make the relatives suffer the spice. Joke's on you. They eat spice. That's why she was gonna give them to that specific relative. <laughs> I'm. What is it? I know who she's gonna give it. I know which relative she's gonna give it to because I constantly eat their cooking every time they make their gumbo. And their, their gumbo's spicy. And I still eat it because I love how it tastes. Your girl mm. loves... I don't mind spice, but that even then, those noodles were pretty spicy. They were on par with her stuff, but even then, the difference, though, in tolerance is the fact that I have a cup of water and I don't have chat dictating when I can have water! <laughs> I'm a friend. You can feel it here. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Oh yeah, speaking of Vocaloid and stuff like that, <laughs> Dear Bro has been laughing in the back for so long. <laughs> yep. They're always excited. The family, the people, the people are always excited. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what they're laughing about. Make him suffer too. First off, I would be actually, I would actually get in trouble if I did that. Ever eaten straight pepper juice? What the crap? Why would you do that? Next stream, it's his turn. Bro, if I gave him, if I gave him or any of my other members spicy food without them knowing, they would actually stare at me in disbelief. And they would actually, they would, they, they would actually get mad at me. Like, like, like one of them, when they get mad, they just straight up stare at you. And I would, I would genuinely feel bad. I would actually get in trouble for that. I mean that. <laughs> like, I can do that on chat because it's me suffering, but if I did that to my family, I would feel more than bad. <laughs> ah, the thousand yard stare. Not even the thousand yard stare, at least the thousand yard stare is staring at something in the distance you don't know. More like the thousand daggers <laughs> to the face. <sighs> oh yeah, that's right, what we were talking about last time. So last time we had to cut the conversation short because we were like going on for like more than three hours and I was like losing my voice. <laughs> but yo, guys, speaking of Vocaloid and stuff like that, 
So there was this one uh, utaite, and they're really, 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 really good. They also did an e uh, igaku cover. Um, I forgot their name. <laughs> but yeah, um, they actually made a post a while ago. And they were doing Vocaloid hot takes, or utaite, utaite hot takes. So utaite are basically Japanese singers that sing Vocaloid songs online. And utaites, YouTube utaites, are basically the overseas community. Just anyone outside of Japan. And so... One of them said, what was it? They said, in the, in the utaite community, if you don't have the stereotypical anime voice, if you don't have the stereotypical anime voice, um, <laughs> you're not gonna get popular. And I'm just like, no, that's not true. That's not true at all. Like, at all. If that was the case, you wouldn't be popular. At least to me, I don't know. For me, I scour and I look for covers of everyone. And the only reason why some of, some people are not popular, despite having fantastic voices, is because they don't upload at all. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Kura. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, but like, I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It feels like their whole argument was like, you have to have the stereotypical anime voice to sing. And the thing is though, is it doesn't feel like they're talking about actual anime voice. He thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, replace the jalapeno with ghost pepper in my friend's sandwich without him, t without telling him. Bro, what the crap? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why would you do that? What is it? What is it? But yeah, no, that's what I meant. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. And I was like, no. No. Maybe? I don't know. I don't think so. Because there's like, when you look at, when you go throughout J-pop and stuff like that, there's like a ton of deep voice singers. You just gotta look for them, bro. For the record, he eats ghost peppers playing sometimes. Uh. What? <laughs> Kendra, don't stop the stream. I need time to finish. We're about to go. We're gonna go on for like at least one more hour. So like, nah, we're good. <laughs> finish up, Mira. Finish up, Mira. <laughs> <laughs> I may, I'm mad, I'm mad, no, no, not made, i mad a little air, and it will take more time. <laughs> no, what is it? But I never, I, ne I just never understood that, if that makes any sense. I just, like, I don't know, it's because, like, what is it? The reason why I don't agree with it is just because, like, what is the stereotypical anime voice? The Bishonen or the early deep voice, voice no, Yakuza? That's like what I mean though. That's what I mean. They said the stereotypical anime voice, but what is the stereotypical anime voice? I, what is it? You have Juno. She did the second opening for Kakegurui and the opening for the Ancient Magus Bride, the first opening for Ancient Magus Bride. And she was, she was 17 or 18 when she sang that. Her voice is deep. And it was praised for how versatile and deep it was. What is the stereotypical anime voice is what I mean. Because, yeah, you have your girls who do the cutesy voice on purpose, but that has its own charm alongside, um, a a a just alongside everything else. Like, what is it? There's Juna, of course, Ancient Magus Bride opening. Then, for me, there's the opening, there's the singer who did, um, the opening themes, both opening themes for, uh, for Nagizaka Haruka no Himitsu. And her voice is pretty deep. In fact, I loved her voice so much, I, I actually sang it myself and I was able to keep in tune with her. Because her voice is 
just deep, is not even deep. Just regular, like, I guess, I guess kind of like it was on, it was my pitch on the lower end. And then of course, what is it? And then you, of course you have your deep singers. I think a good example of like how versatile the anime voices are uh, is the song Beam My Beam from Omomori Himari, where it's a five part song with, you have a girl who does have the stereotypical high anime voice, but you also have the female lead, our cat girl, our resident cat girl, who has the deepest voice of all the cast. <laughs> and I love her voice. Like, again, I don't believe it that it's the stereotypical anime voice. I just think that, like, if you really genuinely improve as a singer and you know that your voice will catch on and you make it popular and you sing well, your editing is well, you're going to get popular. Because here's the thing. Not everyone's going to be mop not everyone's going to be mafu mafu. That's good. That's a rare thing that still people praise because it is so rare. I should start voice acting then. <laughs> yeah, bro. Listen, you can do anything if you practice. Practice, bro. Even I kind of want to voice act a little bit, but I don't know uh, where, my thing is I don't know where to start. I gotta actually like get equipment for that. <laughs> I used to, what is it? When I did radio, I had to put up towel on my head just to record like a couple of lines. And it was literal brain cell melting because it would get so hot under there, like so fast. I mean it when I say it, if you, if you, got, if you got it, you can do it. If I could, I will do covers though. I want to do at least one cover this year, but I don't know what song to cover and I don't know how to edit. <laughs> Starting off with modding a voiceover mo uh, mod. Yeah. Listen, if you genuinely, listen. One of the reasons why I became a streamer is because I knew I was entertaining. So if you know that you're a good, if you know you're a good voice actor, if you know you're a good voice actor, just go, just do it. I know I'm entertaining, but I still also need to improve as an entertainer, which is why I'm thankful you guys are my chat. Like how you guys called me out for being schizophrenic on my Twitter. I am a good entertainer. I ain't good with political topics though. <laughs> so you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ba -na 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 -na. He is here. Was it replacing all of Kai Ki's voice lines with my own mental illnesses? <laughs> Listen, if you sound good, bro. And if you, what is it like a good example? Can I be real with you? Well, I've talked about it previously. A good example of good voice acting is a lot of early 2000s dub voice actors who ended up who were already there in the industry. And then you know what they're doing now? They're all voicing Dragon Ball. They all sound amazing in their roles, roles, even on the fly. It's something that even the younger voice actors have to catch up with because, well, with simulcasting and stuff like that, they're not given the opportunity to technically practice and be on the fly. They have to work with what they got. I'll show you a dub actor. <laughs> who? Who? Oh, I've heard of Dragon Ball and thought of, first of all, I am Vegeta. <laughs> like, even I think I'm a good singer, but I still feel like I need to improve in a lot of areas. Number one, stop what is it like uh you guys have been seeing on twitter i've been trying to improve my uh i've every now and then i'll talk about how i'm trying to improve my voice wait what's going <laughs> second of all you're not vegeta <laughs> i'm full no what <laughs> dipper was faster what 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing he stole your second of all your not Vegeta line. <laughs> ba ba ba. You're here. The good medicine. Yeah, your worries are near. Over, over, over. This 
Trust me, I'm a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah meta, meta, meta. <laughs> Maybe there and there you see. <laughs> Fastest fingers in the army. <laughs> You're right. What is it? One. I, I want to do a. I really want to do a cover. But one of the thing is like I like I said. I'm not sure what song I want to do. One song I was. There are two songs I'm like. I I know I I can I can cover. There are two songs I know I can cover if I really put my- if I really take the time. One of them is... Uh, they're both by the same creator. Niruka- uh, Nilfruits, Nirukajitsu. It's Ameri. Uh, Ame- Ameri. Ameri. And Haruni. I've talked about Ameri and Haruni. And I've been practicing them, I've been practicing them. But the thing is, I want to make them English covers. So it takes, like, longer to find the perfect English lyrics for them. For Haruni, it's a lot easier. But for Ameri, it's a lot more chal- What is it? Haruni and Ameri, it's like they're challenging in the way that, like, they're so specific. And you'd need, like, just really with any Japanese song, you have to, like, find the right balance of words that can emphasize everything properly. And then there's other songs that I'm thinking of. <sighs> and some like lyrics that I want to do for covers back then, I decided I want to rewrite them because they all sound so cringe and like as if I know very limited vocabulary. <laughs> <sighs> over, over, over. There's a literal video of every voice line for Kai Kisk because they data mined the files. To be honest, that makes that's so real. <laughs> hey Kendra, what? 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 Amir. Amer. What is it? I like her voice. She's going to the playlist. Yo, this is from Fate? Yo, this is going in the playlist? I like it. Y'all, I'm, I'm weak when it comes to music, too. <laughs> Y'all be- I, I'll literally be like, add that to the playlist today. <laughs> if I really, really, really like music, I'll add it immediately. What is it? I've had that brand before. It's pretty good. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Hello, Tic Tac Dispenser. How are you? I see you uh, are. I see you are in possession of a choir boy from uh, Rhythm Heaven. That probably sounded really bad, but <laughs> he is here. If you ever quit, got me slipping, slipping, slipping. What is it? One song I've also been really debating, but I actually want to save that song for a special occasion, is Dasby's Sugar Coat. I'm like, I want to cover that one a lot, a lot. But that one I want to save for, for another day. I want to save that one for another day when I'm really, really good. And I know, I, I, like, I know I'm a good singer, but I want to save that when I'm really, really good. When I'm a really, really good singer. That one's the one. That one's the one I want to try. So there's all the files for every grunt, every guard sound, every throw connect, teched, and missed. And I can even yell, ride the light. Bro, that, bro, that line goes super hard. Yo, imagine saying that. Yeah. We're over, over, over. Another Kidori's here. Trust me, I'm a friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, meta, meta, meta. Gosh. Gosh. Now I'm thinking about the time back then. Gosh. Y'all don't remember this? Because I like, obviously some of you are newer, but like, 
y'all don't even know how stupid I used to be when it came to streaming in the back then. Because here's the thing, as much as I do enjoy streaming, I love music even above streaming. <laughs> and I had to train myself back then to where I was now, where I'm now like on semi on time. Back then, I used to literally just stream whenever I wanted to at like an unspecified amount of time. And then I would be like, hey guys, I'm streaming here in an hour. And then I would go over the hour because I would then listen to a music track that I had already been obsessed with for like three hours prior. And then I would just abandon stream entirely. <laughs> I would abandon stream entirely and be like, ah, oh. okay. Yeah, I could stream, but I want to listen to Big and Loud by Darla Dimple all over again and never had a friend like me. <laughs> I was so obsessed. I'm still obsessed with music. That's why now I've just compiled the playlist here in case I just feel like that when we're, um, in case like I just wanna play it when we're doing art and stuff like that. And not only that, I also try and do that less frequently when it's closer to stream time because obviously I, I gotta, you know, I gotta actually stream in order to build my following. <laughs> I look forward to possibly just yelling in agony for the lose, for the lose voice lines. <laughs> Yo, torture, yo, Soul Dipper going through his torture arc right now? Tortured MC arc? <laughs> All right, hold on, I'll be right back. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs>
I'm back! Hello, Pomni plushie! Yo! It's Pomni! Guest starring Pomni? Yo. <laughs> Ah, I'm back. I'm a friend. Not you, you a chair. Yeah, matter, matter, matter. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Gosh, I can't. I can't wait. What? What can I wait for? I'm not sure. I just can't wait. I I like streaming. One th one thing I don't regret is becoming a streamer. It's one this was one of my biggest it's one of my biggest accomplishments being a streamer. Being a streamer with over 200 of you guys. I don't know what happened a couple of days ago, but for some reason the subscriber count jumped from 250 to 270 and I was like, "Hold on, what?" <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know why. But thank you. <laughs> I don't even know what to talk about anymore. <laughs> I guess we can talk about what we can talk more about. I guess what actually, you know what? I don't know. That actually is a good question. What do you guys consider the stereotypical anime voice? Again, for myself, I actually, what is it? People always say like, I'm tired of hearing high pitched girls in anime. And I get that. I get that. But mostly when it's like a character that's not fitted for a high voice. Like, uh, the recent, like, 19 bit. That- I didn't like the, that the female Lee's voice was super, super high. Because it just didn't fit her character design. In fact, I felt like a deeper voice or a tomboyish voice would have suited her better. But I don't know. To me, when it comes to music and stuff like that, I want to hear- I look for that. And in Japan, they have that. Heck, a lot of K- a K- uh- Pop stars, pretty much all, si not K-pop, uh, a lot of J-pop sits at a high, or was it uh, an alto to high alto range? So I don't really see them as quote unquote stereotypical high pitched girls. I just see them as women who so happen to have high voices. Heck, yo, God, who here remembers Good Luck Girl? Who, are, who here knows about Good Luck Girl? No one, no, no one remembers that girl. No one remember. No one remembers the poverty god and everything. Dang, I think I'm alone. I'm alone here, not knowing, only knowing of good luck girl. Ugh, me and my obscure anime ness. <laughs> nope, sorry. Dang. What is it? Go. What is it? I remember seeing images from it. You know what I mean when I say that I think the generic anime, male anime voice either is literally just a JoJo character or Deku, Deku fans trying to impersonate him. No, you know what I mean? Actually, yeah, what is it? Speaking of that, the reason why I'm like, I don't understand that argument because that's exactly what I'm trying to get at also. Because they don't want to hear a stereotypical high pitch anime girl, but they want to hear a shonen protagonist be edgy. Cause that happened. I remember being in like uh, r slash VTubers and they were like, yo, yo I don't want to hear a high pitched cat girl anime voice. I want to hear, I, I don't want to hear someone like that, but he does want to hear, his friend was like, I don't want to hear a high pitched anime girl voice. But my friend says he wants to listen to someone with the shonen protagonist voice. So I'm like, so you want to switch from someone role playing as an anime girl to a, di to a dude role playing as an anime boy. Make it make sense, bro. <laughs> I'm like, make it make sense, bro. You can't be doing this to me. So I just recommended Okayu, my go-to deep voice girl, because Okayu is is king. Okayu is great. Great. Wait, Bin Bulgami ga? My brother watched it. I never did though. <laughs> Yo. We found someone who knows about Good Luck Girl. Yes, the Japanese name is Binbogamiga. Mofu Mofu. <laughs> Hello, Mofu Mofu. <laughs> it's it's a comedy anime. It's a comedy anime akin to 
Yeah, there's just nothing like it. That's what I was gonna get at. The reason why I don't understand that argument is because voices around the world are so versatile, and I brought up Good Luck Girl as like the best reason, because go to the opening of Good Luck Girl and listen to the, and listen to the opening theme. What is it? I'm gonna put the opening theme in chat. Slippin', slippin', slippin'. Who is it? Good luck girl, make my day. Make good luck girl. The song, make my day. Let me see. What is it? Good luck, girl. Make my day. Wait, you were talking about Bin Bogami. Yeah! I usually call it good luck, girl, because it was easy to remember. <laughs> and Bimbo. Bin Bogami. <laughs> kind of want to watch it now. Do you recommend it? It's like... It's a comedy anime. And of course, because... What is it? So like, when it, what is it? You're probably not gonna like the priest. Let's be real here. He's a perfect character. If you don't... <laughs> I mean, you can technically skip his stuff and just not care. I can ignore that because I just don't care about that. But obviously I know some people might not like that. What is it? So yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna care. Me, 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 me. Bye. See ya. Soul Dipper. See ya. <laughs> It's good anime. I really like it when it aired. Yeah, I remember when it first came out. Me and my sister still recite the dub because, like, in the dub, the English voice actress is the English... What is it? The English voice actress for the Poverty God is the English dub voice actress for Luffy. So every... So I always quote. <laughs> I always quote. So a solid recommendation. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much. It's like your, it's your comedy anime, and I love it for that. <laughs> What is it? I put the opening theme in chat. Listen to that opening theme. Listen to that opening theme. And it's gonna shock you. That's actually a man. <laughs> That's a man. That's a man singing that song. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if you sound like a stereotypical anime girl or a stereotypical anime boy because voices sound so <laughs> versatile nowadays. They were vers- this was- this was released over 10 years ago. I can't imagine voices sounding even remote. Like, if that was versatile 10 years ago, man, that's probably like even more versatile like now. They probably improved so much from then. Like, I, I totally recommend, I totally recommend the, the song at least. I like the opening theme and ending theme, but the problem is it's very hard to find the, well, I wouldn't have guessed, exactly. And the guy in the, what is it? The guy in the MV, that's the original singer. He just has really good hair. <laughs> He's got those Sakurai chi. <laughs> Someone else knows this phrase. <laughs> yes. Mind you, this was over like 10 years ago. So he probably like rocks a different hairstyle now, but man, it was a man. You learn, th new th you learn things every day. Yeah, that's a man, guys. Like, I don't, like, it's one of the reasons why I say, what is the stereotypical anime voice? What is the stereotypical anime voice? Because when you really go into J-pop, when you really go into anime opening themes and you dig for people that you love and you like, you're gonna find a variety of things. Don't limit yourself just because you hear someone say something like that. Because a good example, you guys don't really know this, but I'm actually a soprano. <laughs> I'm actually a soprano. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell though from my voice though, because I also practice alto. I'm an alto soprano. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, I'm an alto soprano, but you wouldn't be able to tell that from like um, how I sing here because I'm not really going full. Uh, you mean dub English, an dub English anime voice or Japanese? Both, both. So J1. J1, actually, hello, I never said hi to you. I never introduced you to the chat. I dual stream, so everyone, this is J159 speaking on the YouTube side. <laughs> that's, a, that's a radio name. That's a radio name, awesome name. 
<laughs> so the thing is though is when people say what is the stereotypical anime voice they always cite japan as an example and the thing is they limit themselves saying hey you only like it because i'm a high pitch anime girl and yes let's be real here let's be absolutely honest with you high pitch anime girl is common high pitch anime girl is a thing but you know why it's a thing because it's cute and everyone loves cute things but that does not mean that any other voice is invalid because of that because there's still voices when you go and look for them that they're more popular than you think that's like saying that's like looking at the american side and be like everyone sounds like mariah carey nobody sounds like mariah carey carey nobody not everyone sounds like mariah carey not everyone sounds like beyonce and stuff like that our voices are way too versatile to just limit them to be like like what is it Japanese culture is cutesy, yeah. Exactly, you know what I mean? Like that song proves to me, what is it? That song, Make My Day? Only Ariana Grande sound like Mariah Carey. <laughs> you got that right. But that's also because she's been practicing since forever. She's a sm she's not only a smart singer, she's not only a great scissor, <laughs> she's not only a great singer, she's a smart businesswoman too and that's exactly why she's able to last that long ariana grande making a way for herself that's really the reason why she's able to get as far as she did she had the business and wherewithal to keep all her music rights <laughs> ah. what is it what is it and that was saying the reason why is because and she licks stone oh Mmm, we all remember that one. <laughs> we all remember that one. We forgive her though. Just as long as she don't do it again. Just as long as she doesn't do it again. Because let's be real here, uncalled for. <laughs> Listen, be upset, be upset in the Americas, but try not to do that again, girl. <laughs> ah. What is it, what is it, what is it? So like, I, I just never understood, like, I understand why, because people look at the anime voice and they see it's popular. But here's the thing, though. Like, when people also refer to the anime voice in the Western Hemisphere, can I be real here? They're talking about Sopranos. <laughs> Super and call for it, yeah, like, I still don't know why she even did it. Let's be real here. I think it's best if we don't. It might make the situation worse. <laughs> <laughs> like what is it anytime someone talks about the quote-unquote stereotypical anime voice they're talking about sopranos <laughs> soprano you're talking about a soprano and it's like bro we all know you're talking about sopranos <laughs> and you know what sopranos are the tip top high pitch voice that you hear sometimes like in japan there's a lot of people there that excel at sopranos Mafu Mafu. I don't think you attack. I think, yeah, Mafu Mafu is like a soprano. And he's rare. <laughs> he's rare. Trickle is getting there because, like, it's very clear that he wants to get to Mafu Mafu's level. And he's making it there. But, like, for right now, he's still stuck at, like, an alto level. But eventually, he's going to get to a soprano level. For, like, a guy, that's, that's going to be extra work. It's gonna be hard, hard work. But for a for a, for a girl, for myself, being soprano, I'm like a high, I'm like a high, I'm like an alto, and I and I can reach soprano. But the thing is, though, is I still gotta practice my voice to be soprano. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're like going on fifty other tangents and trying to keep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Basically, what I'm just trying to get at is. I don't understand the argument of when people say the stereotypical anime voice. Because when you really dig deep into the anime sphere, the anime circle, you have people who sing deep, you have people who sing high, you have people who sing in character, you have people who sing out of character. A good example, um, the saga of Tanya the Evil. That is a good song. The uh, ending theme, Los Los Los. Or even Mythenroid, the opening theme, Mythenroid. She has a the 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 lead singer has one of like the best deep voice. And 
then of course you have the voice actor for Tanya who's saying los 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 and she had a high voice but the thing is though is it's singing in character it's singing practicing singing and doing all that stuff my thing <laughs> is that when I hear stuff like that it feels so l limiting it's like putting limits on yourself and putting limits on others because they read your comments and it's like do I have to sing like the stereotypical anime character? Guess what? No. Sing how you can sing, bro. And that's gonna be- that's- that's it. Just sing how you want to sing. <laughs> the war anime with the pouty lips. <laughs> Watch, uh, Simpho Gear if you want to- if you want a character singing. Exactly. What is it? K hey, what is it? J- uh, J1- J, uh, 159. You know what's funny about the pouty lips? The mangaka- it, intentionally requested for all the female characters to look ugly so that no one would sexualize them. That's the only reason why they look quote-unquote ugly. You know what's funny? It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't work. Let's be real here. It didn't work. <laughs> That's so goaded. <laughs> to listen, it didn't work, but that was still funny. <laughs> He's like, please make my characters ugly. <laughs> also, you can you just call me Jay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, Jay. All right, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, that's so, he's so real for that. But like, let's be real here. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> well, I guess it stopped merch. <laughs> They're cute in their own unique way. Exactly. I'm like, now you just made them cute in a different way. Because let's be real here. People still think Tanya is adorable. And they think that other girl in uh, the anime is adorable too. So it just didn't work. <laughs> Listen. Unless the style is realistic, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you just you gotta go for ping pong the animation type of ugly. <laughs> and even then, that anime isn't really ugly. It's just unique and different. And people weren't prepared for it. <laughs> you got what Tanya is. It's cute though, exactly. But the creator was like, make them ugly. It didn't work. <laughs> you would have to pull off what they, what is it? In order to make a quote unquote character ugly to the anime community, just make it to, just make it 3D. And I don't mean 3D like uh, Land of the Lustrous B-Stars 3D. I mean, make it have real people and rotoscope it like they did with uh, Aku no Hana. And even then Aku no Hana is not a bad thing. The Flowers of Evil, the series, from what I heard, it's not a bad series. It's just that people weren't prepared for the rotoscoping and the quote unquote ugly characters. Or Flowers of Eatable Rotoscope. Yeah, that. Yep. Yep. And even then, like, the rotoscope actually helps the series. But the problem is, though, is, uh, you know, uh. If an anime fan is not, uh, receptive. They're not going to be receptive for life. And it'll probably take 10 years for people to actually appreciate an anime's beauty. Like what's happening with Akunohana's <laughs> time right, right now. Because so many people are going back and being like, Hey, yo, this anime is actually pretty good. If you get past the rotoscoping. Gosh. Speaking of animation. <coughs> the, I, 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 I like talked about this earlier. The amount of people who will- what is it? The amount of people who will like judge an anime based on its art style, if it is a kid series or, ki or not a kid series. Guys, you are, walking, you are looking at a girl who for her childhood has like binged, who wanted to watch as much anime as possible and ended up in the kids section where all the magical girls were. Listen to me when I say this. The amount of people who tried to claim that Ranking of Kings was supposed to be a kid show is baffling. I don't understand why that even happened. You guys are like, what are you talking about? If you go back, if you go back and you look at the reception of Ranking of Kings when it first came out, you will see people who said that Ranking of Kings looks like a kid show. I don't know what they were thinking. I'm, I know people are like, what are you talking about, Kenjo? Boji, yeah! Osama ranking is good. Exactly. 
I know what listen I immediately knew that this was a serious anime a serious real anime because Wit Studios was behind it that was all I needed because Wit Studios isn't gonna do kids anime unless we see it on the charts I'm like first off Wit Studios and it looks like a Ghibli film not even that it looks like a Ghibli film what is it I just saw the trailer and I was like this this is gonna be something special <laughs> and it was something special and then for some reason, when the reviews started pouring in for when people were doing their, like, lineup for the anime season, they were like, well, it was gonna give this anime- I wasn't gonna give this anime a look because it looks childish. And I'm like, what about it looks childish? Because our protagonist is short? What is- what made Ranking of Kings look childish to you? What made it look childish? I'm still stuck on that! What made Ranking of Kings look childish to where you were gonna pass it off as a kid's anime? Again, I spent a good chunk of my anime time as a kid looking at kid's anime. I found kid's anime, I found teen anime, I found adult anime. I was already able to piece together what was a kid show and what was not a kid show within the anime sphere, even though anime, like, how people say anime is a genre. Like, I was able to piece together what was considered anime for kids and anime for adults. Because, you know, the whole argument of anime is not for kids. There's anime for kids! Pretty Cure is an anime for kids and teenagers and adults and stuff like that. Because Pretty Cure is vast. Same with Dragon Ball and stuff like that. But, how many of you have ever heard of Chibi Maruko? <laughs> if you haven't, that's a kid's anime. And a very popular one, too. The sad thing was is that the voice actress actually passed away recently. That, that one actually made me cry. A little bit. I was like, frick. The only thing I didn't like was the ending where that Mir, Mir Miranjo became all damsel in distress and that one child king picks her up and it's, and it's like, <laughs> now you're my man. <laughs> like, something like that. <laughs> Well, you see, and then she got all blushy and it didn't seem in character. <laughs> well, you see, let's be real here. All, let's be absolutely real here. For some female leads, uh, and even some girls in real life, they'll be like, I am the tough, strong girl that I, that you men fear. Then the moment they get a love life, oh, excuse, what? What are you treating me like the damsel in distress for? Blushy, blushy, blush. <laughs> I know it's real because I actually saw a bunch of creators do that at one point. Some artist I follow. There was one artist I followed. She literally made a comic about how she uh, was like this rough and tough tomboy. And then the moment she met the love of her life, she's like, so I changed my whole life because I love you. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's not, it doesn't happen with everything. But like, you know, like you tend to, you tend to, act a certain way when when you actually get like the, i guess quote unquote a love and attention that you need you know what i mean the love and attention that you need <laughs> uh, that obviously also that's like a scale for some people not everyone acts the same but like there's like certain like small things that people you know was it small things that certain people across really just all humanity will always like have with them again it's like rare but like small things that you start to notice like say you fell in love with someone and then you suddenly start taking care of yourself better that's gonna happen now there are some people who don't but for those that do you found someone good you found someone good in your life <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man and what is it the same thing also happened with like the shoujo community when we were talking about the shoujo community earlier my thing with the shoujo community also is the fact that why people don't <laughs> i want to be a girl to invest i want a girl to invest in me so bad listen it's gonna happen bro it's gonna happen <laughs> it's gonna happen i'll take more showers i swear <laughs> listen say 
listen, you find that one person, you're totally, you, you, it'll feel like a change. And then you, and then who knows, you keep it as a habit with you. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Like when we were talking about the shoujo community earlier, that's also one of the reasons why I think shoujo isn't as like hyped up as like, um, like hyped up as like a uh, normal anime because, well, two things. It's because it feels stagnant depending on what it is, depending on the show, the type of shoujo. And also uh, because people do write it off because they see it as colorful kid stuff. And that's actually really sad because some, some shoujo are not like kid stuff mainly. It also doesn't help that this, if I start, if I start, if I start, if I start. <laughs> Uh, man, I need to, I need to finish Free Rin. I know Free Rin Fridays like ended last week. I need to binge the rest of Free Rin before season two comes out. Slipping, <laughs> uh. slipping, slipping. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'm on the I'm on the last episode. Gonna watch it today. Nice. <laughs> Gosh, what is it? I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna play another one. Man, what's another song? Gosh, you know what? Ocean Baby. <coughs> I'm gonna play Ocean Baby. Why? Because I like Millie. <laughs> no, no, Children of the City, on cassette. <laughs> I like, I, I like, I like certain. I man, I like, like I said, I've stated multiple times already in stream. I love music. I'm only watching. Was it Ken, almost done, Kendra? Hang in there. All right, fine. I'll hang on a few more minutes. <laughs> We're ending stream in the next nine minutes. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm only watching Free Rin and Apocryphy Diaries, or however they spelled. <laughs> the Apoth, okay, the Apothecary, the Apothic. I have not kept up with Apothecary Diaries at all. I just keep people's. I just keep seeing people talk about it, and I'm just like, yep, that one exists. I'm just gonna stick with Free Rin just because I kind of like Free Rin. Obviously, if I probably watched the uh, Apothecary Diaries, I would probably care about the main character but at the same time i kind of don't it's time for another vendetta Coming to the skies, picking <laughs> out my parade and persona. <laughs> Children of the city sees only the neon stars reflected upon the murky gutter sky. Don't ask me why, I guess really wish to be noted in the city's eyes. Nang, I bet you that badly. <laughs> Man, I've been obsessed. Man, I I just love, like I said, I, like I said, for the 50th time in a row, I love music. Can, can you tell? <laughs> nah. <laughs> All good. <laughs> oh, man. Gosh, that's why I made the playlist. That's why I made the Kendrillion playlist. Also, I'm not, is Streamlabs, is, is Stream Elements working in the, in the live chat? Is it working? I wasn't checking. What is this? All of the city sipping. Nobody seems to listen. It takes my heart being broken and broken again. The ghost land the reason why the sufferings never end. Oh, it's time for another vendetta. Coming through 
but still speaking out my parade in persona. Children of the city seems only the neon stars reflecting <coughs> upon the murky gutter sky. Don't ask me why. I desperately wish to be noticed by the city's <coughs> eyes. <sighs> I don't know what stream elements is. Stream Elements is what allows me to... I, I'm gonna put the link in chat because of course it's glitching on me now. Um, that's what I usually have uh, to request commands of socials and stuff. 1, 8, 2, 8, 1, 8, 2, 8, 4, 5, 9, 6, 7, 8, 7, 3, 5, 6, 6-4-9-7-7-5-7-8-7-6-9-9-9-5-9-5-7-4-9-6-6-9-6-7-6-2 One of these days I'm gonna get that number combination right because I always mess that up in the song. I always mess up that- I always mess up the number combinations because I think it's like a different number combination and it's not. I'm gonna put the playlist in chat. <laughs> what is it? I'm gonna put the playlist in chat. Oh, of course. Um, bum -ba -bum, bum -bum -bum -bum, lump of sugar. <laughs> what is it? Uh... I, I can't see you guys' stuff at the moment because... Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now the playlist is in chat. All right. <laughs> All right. What's another one? What's another topic? Of course, we already went over the Sonic ad earlier. <laughs> oh, man. I try and write down some of the stuff I want to talk about. So that I have things to not run out of when we head to stream. <laughs> I know, fake, fake streamer. I, I gotta come up with my topics on the fly next time. <laughs> okay, I found one, I found one. Our last topic for the day that we can talk about. Guys, guys, we've been getting discussions of isekai lately. Can I be absolutely real with you? I love how everyone keeps complaining about the oversaturation of isekai. It's funny because you know good and you know what's funny about it? Did you finish your spicy noodles? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. We finished them like an hour ago. <laughs> we finished them like an hour ago. Gosh. It was torture. <laughs> Gosh, but that's still his soul this guy. Yes. Yet, can I be real with you? The spicy noodles were not worse than the ramune. The only reason why is because the ra- what is it? The spicy noodles were- they hurt. They hurt. They genuinely did. But the ramune hurt worse. The ramune hurt worse. If only because it, the- I'm not used to carbonation. That one was like physical pain. Like this- like... The noodles were physical pain, but the ramune was physical, physical pain. I can't handle spicy at all. I can handle spicy, but like, that was pretty spicy. Hello! Hello, Soul Sleeper. Soul Sleeper. <laughs> Wait, ramen hurting? So I'm not used to drinking carbonated drinks. I don't drink carbonated drinks at all. I've never been able to drink them when I was a kid, and I was never able to drink them even into adulthood. I know a couple of family members who can't either. I can't even drink ginger ale. That's how bad it is. Yeah, I just drink water and tea. Yeah, water, tea, and fruit punch up top. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm no good with carbonated drinks either. Go eat a ghost pepper. Go eat... <coughs> I almost made the worst word combination possible. 
<laughs> like whenever I sip soda, I burp immediately. More like if I sip a, if, what is it? I'll tell you guys a story. One time I was sick in my stomach. I had to go to the bathroom. And the thing was my mom brought me a can of ginger ale so that I could drink it to help my stomach feel better. I, I said in that moment, I'm gonna take a swig of ginger ale. I'm gonna take a swig of this ginger ale and I'm going to overcome this pain. I took a big sip of ginger ale and I had to spit it back in a can. <laughs> what is it? I took a big sip of that ginger ale and I had to spit it back in the can because the fizz was hurting my mouth so badly, I was in tears and crying. My mom then proceeded to come back into the bathroom and witnessed my tear-soaked, snot-ridden face <laughs> and just walked out laughing. <laughs> okay, and your mom jokes are lame. Yeah. So's your dad. <laughs> I like ginger ale when I'm sick. I don't like ginger ale, but I have to drink it when I'm sick anyway, which makes it worse. <laughs> uh, hello, J1. Five nine. I've never seen you before. How are you? <laughs> J. J. Introducing you to Soul Slayer. <laughs> and the time you realize before you combine as no picture and the minutes picturesque. Now it's time for another vendetta going through the shelves picking out my pre-written persona children of the city sees only the neon stars reflected upon the murky gutter sky don't ask me why i desperately wish to be included in the city's night <laughs> wait huh what what Sorry, I got distracted. I am the main antagonist of Ken's story. Ken? Like Barbie? <laughs> I want to see that movie again. Who's Kendra? I'm Kendra! <laughs> oh yeah, I never introduced myself. Hello, I am Kendra. Kendrillion. <laughs> I am Kendra. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you good, you good. Kendra short for Kendrillion because apparently people can't spell Kendrillion or pronounce Kendrillion. So you good. <laughs> I ain't even check. Listen, listen. Good. <laughs> Seven. Do you not? The body seems to listen. She's a professional. <laughs> I just click cause red live button. To be honest, same. <laughs> Time for another vendetta. Calling through the shelves, kicking out my pre wow. persona. Yay. Children of the city seems only the neon stars reflected hey. upon the murky gutter sky. Don't ask me why. I desperately wish to be noticed in the city's eyes. Can stop singing and give me a story. I need entertainment. Shut up. Hey. <laughs> also, I upvoted Ken. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey. Two points. 
<laughs> Eat more noodles. No. <laughs> I told you already. It looks like somebody looks like somebody wasn't paying attention to stream because they were too busy spamming in the Discord server. I told you the rest of the noodles are going to a relative. <laughs> They were casted out to the relatives. I only got the one. Also, Ken, have you heard Night Dancer by Imase? No, I don't think so. Let me look it up. Okay. What's Night Dancer? I'm singing Millie because I have Millie on the brain. Okay. Night Dancer, Imase, Imase. Yo, he did a... He did a... Okay. This song sounds familiar. <laughs> what is this from? What is this from? Okay, Rona, Ron sent, Ron sang it at some point. <laughs> this song sounds familiar. Who sent? What was this attached to? Or is it just a? Is just a standalone song? Huh. Not gonna lie though, I like this guy's voice. Yeah. Great song, Mira. I, I know, right? Wow. Let's go, Mirai! <laughs> Do your bro call in the ancients? <laughs> Night Dancer goes hard! Yes, yes, it does. So far, I'm really liking it. Have you guys heard of Lady by Kenchi Yonezu? Uh, Yonezu? Have you guys heard of Lady? I love Lady. Lady. Kenchi. Ken. Ken. Kenshi. Kenshi Onizu. I love Lady. Lady's a really good song. <laughs> Please, put it, put it on the Kendrillion playlist. Bro, the Kendrillion playlist is literally just my playlist. I'm not gonna add your songs to my playlist unless it's pretty good. <laughs> I gotta give it a full listen. Nah, but I do like it. <laughs> I'll add it. I do like it, but I gotta, I gotta see. Cause like, I like it, but like, it's not like, I, I, I don't just put random songs I like on the playlist unless I really, really like them. Or unless like, this is something from my memory and I think I'll love it over time. So don't worry, don't worry, I'll give it a listen later. Some songs get added faster than others if they really hit a right spot with me. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> Just give it a couple of listens, you'll come to like it. All right, I'll do that in my spare time. <laughs> Mirai! 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 Uh, Mirai! 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 I'm her mom. Hi. Hi, Mirai. <laughs> You said you're my mom. <laughs> Mirai. <laughs> you almost killed me. <laughs> You know, I was just calling your name out as a joke, but you know what? That was a better outcome. <laughs> uh. 
That was great. I loved that. <laughs> Mira, show me what she's yelling at for you. Dad. Bro. Oh, I almost forgot. How, how many of you heard of Bradio? Who here knows about Bradio? I don't know. <laughs> who here watches, who here listens to Bradio? She just wants revenge. <laughs> Who listens to Bradio? Bro, I I I got I got to I got to know if there's any Bradio fans in the chat. They did the opening theme for Death Parade years back. They did the opening theme for a Death Parade. Does anyone does anyone know? I don't know what that is. Dang it. <laughs> Yo, I don't know Bradio, bro. You don't know Bradio? Oh, we're going to change that today. We're changing that today. I can't obviously play it out loud because obviously that would get me banned. <laughs> Bradio. I love Bradio. They did flyers, but I want to, I'm not sure if I want to use flyers because, well, how should I put this? Flyers? So good. I can't even blame being like everyone is the, I heard, yeah, I saw that. Oh, Death Raid. Yeah, I heard the OP. Yeah, what is it? Okay, what is it? I'll put Bradios, uh, I'll put, uh, flyers in chat by name. I've been practicing this song in private, and I, I, I love, man, if I could have three vocal cords, I wish I could have three vocal cords. Man, I would go all, if we did karaoke with flyers, if we did karaoke with flyers, y'all have no idea. Do you take vocal lessons? No, I do not. But I see, I just, I just kind of go all out when I'm with myself. When I'm by myself and I'm just doing chores, I like to sing, I like to sing the songs. Wish I could take singing and speaking classes. I just kind of like, I just sing to myself and I try and match the singer's, uh, Cadence and tone, and that's how I improve in singing, at least for me. Man, I'm super shy. That's why I also do it at home alone when I'm alone, because I don't do it when my family's here. <laughs> that's too embarrassing. Yeah. Everybody, put your hands up. Flying. Walnut with ghost peppers and noodles. Oh, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you are so insistent. Soul Slayer, you are so insistent. It's you, Why don't you eat some walnuts and ghost peppers and noodles? <laughs> the burps come back to haunt me. If I ever get my own apartment, I, man I might sing in the shower and such. <laughs> no, that's good. Listen, get in any practice you can. That's what is it? What is it? Flyers, but one of my favorites from one of my favorites from Bradio is Shanana no Happy. Shanana, okay, so it's called Shia Shia Awase no Shanana, but it's Shanana no Happy. It's like Shanana. What is it, man? I like this one because Bro was rocking an afro. <laughs> Burp. Yo, Bradio. Bro, you want to watch something that is like an almost one take shot of a like I love this. I love this MV so much. It literally brings a smile on my face. Wait, is is Shiwa is Shiwa Awase like happiness? I I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly from when I translated it. Ken, you said go eat some walnuts, but I don't eat want to eat you. Go find some walnuts at at, at Walmart. Grocery store, wherever you live. I, I repeated a line that happened later in the song. <laughs> what is it? Nah, but I highly recommend it. I recommend it. I have your brothers and sisters in my cup word.
Uh huh. I know you're lying. I don't have a cupboard. <laughs> It's been fun. <laughs> I gotta go eat my ice cream sandwich. Arigato for having me, Kendra, and chat. It's been fun. Bye, Jay. Hopefully we can see you next time, too. <laughs> I have a picture of my walnuts. <laughs> nah, if we if we do if we do a Bradio song for karaoke, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go all out just because I like Bradio that much. Na 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 na, so you didn't know the happy. Oh, ya na na, no I don't get. Tell Mirai to come join me. Mirai, Mirai. Soul Slayer says go join him. <laughs> Give me a e. Give me a e. Mm mm. Atama e Yoshiki. What? Mirai, Mirai. Soul Slayer said go join him. <laughs> Uh, busy on my project. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, Mirai. I'm waiting for you. Na na na, so you know that I'm happy. No, oh oh. Na na na, so na na na, so you know that I'm happy. No, oh oh. Na na na, so you know that I'm happy. No, oh oh. Na na na, so you know that I'm happy. No, oh oh. I want to go to the other Bradio song. No, not Golden Lion. Oh yeah, there is Daddy Daddy Do. Which one am I thinking of again? I'm thinking, and I'm forgetting the Bradio. Oh yeah, that one with Mei Chan. Ho level level pollution. Hey. I remember being so obsessed with whole level level with Hore Hore Bo Revolution. Man, I love that song so much. And I remember I wanted to practice it so bad. <laughs> Mirai, I'm so happy you think that night dancer slaps. <laughs> Yo, we fa we found him. I've never seen a I've never seen people with so good of an afro. Hey. Let me see. Let me see, Mirai. Hey. Oh baby. Uh. I must know. <laughs> Kendra, what? Kendra, what? Yeah. What, 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 what? Ken, I have a concept for a stream. What? Let me see. Let me see. Shoot shot. Let me see. Let me see. This is just devolved into me singing. Because I feel- because I'm waiting for Mirai. I'm waiting for Mirai's project. Conspiracy Corner. Let me see this, let me see. Wait, let me see, let me see this. You know what, we're, I'm pausing that. We're gonna play this with sound. And we're going to open, we're gonna download this. And we're gonna open it up. We're gonna, what is it? We're going to, can we download this? Down, is there a way to download this? Oh, 
Is there any... How do I... How do I... <laughs> you observe zero purpose. What is it? I'm gonna give you audio. What is it? I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna give you audio. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'm gonna give you audio. You slur like... <laughs> Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me let loop around again. <laughs> you, sir, your life, I, 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 I keep messing. What is it, what is it? Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should eat a ghost pepper now. <laughs> what is it? Let me, let me seek it up better. Let me seek it up better. <laughs> Let's take it up better. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should eat a ghost pepper now. Uh, uh, <laughs> that sounds so angry. That sounds so angry. <laughs> Bro, use that second take. That second take was way better. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was great. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> I think that's it for today. Thankfully, we were able. To, you know what? That was great. That was that was worth it for the wait. <laughs> Me, you being subjected to my singing voice, you, you got, you guys have earned it. <laughs> We've earned a meme, guys. We've earned a meme. <laughs> ah, all right. I think with that being said, let us find someone to raid. It is time to end stream. Go, go, lucky go, baby. <laughs> Nope, that's not the end of the song. Hi, everyone! And remember, to Hore Borevolution, your way to the polls. <laughs>